Variation by kscience.com. Variation is a difference in characteristics. So all of these different species show a difference in characteristics. Even though the tiger and the spider both have legs, their legs are different. Even though the tiger and the spider have hair on their bodies, the hair is different. They all have eyes, but all their eyes are different eyes. This is variation, differences in their characteristics. So all of these people have genetic variation. Humans show differences in their characteristics due to the genes they have. So this could be their skin color, their eye color, their hair color. Any characteristic that is different is variation. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So we're now going to look at genetic variation. This here is a man, and he has brown eyes. And this here is a woman with blue eyes. So what is the variation between these two people? Well, the man has brown eyes, the woman has blue eyes. The man has short hair, the woman has long hair. The man is a man, and the woman is a woman. Those are examples of differences in their characteristics, their variation. So they have a baby together, and the baby has brown eyes. This is a characteristic that has been inherited from the father. So it is genetic variation because the characteristic has been passed on from the father to the child via the genes. So it is genetic variation. And the woman with blue eyes has another baby with a man with blue eyes and they then have a child with blue eyes. The variation between these two children is that one baby has brown eyes and the other baby has blue eyes. That's a difference in their characteristic. The blue eye gene was inherited from the mum and the dad, so that is variation caused by genetic inheritance. So genetic variation is caused by the alleles inherited during sexual reproduction. The man then has a child with a woman with different skin colour to him. So they've got a variation in phenotype. There is a variation in phenotype. Phenotype is the characteristic you see. So different alleles will be inherited. This baby has inherited the gene for the skin color from the mother and the eye color, the darker eye color from the mother, which is a variation in phenotype in the child. A variation in phenotype. So the alleles you inherit from your parents leads to variation in the phenotype of the offspring. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what is environmental variation? This is a woman with long hair. The woman cuts her hair so it's shorter. She's changed the characteristic of her hair by cutting her hair. This is a change in phenotype of the woman. The characteristic of her hair has changed, but this is not due to genetics. This is due to her cutting her hair and it is caused by the surroundings within the environment. This is a plant. And it's doing well, it's healthy. All of a sudden, there's no light being given to the plant or no water. The plant will then wilt and the characteristics of the plant will change. So there'll be a change in the phenotype of the plant. It will look different. So the plant doesn't grow due to environmental factors of no light and no water. This is not genetic variation because it did not inherit the inability to grow. The inability to grow was due to environmental factors of no light and no water. So environmental variation are the characteristics or the phenotypes. So characteristics or phenotypes show environmental variation because they're affected by the surroundings. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
So the height of someone is caused by genetic variation and environmental variation. If you've got two parents who are both six foot, the child is most likely going to be tall. It has the potential to be tall due to the inheritance of alleles from its parents. However, if the child is not fed or looked after well, the child will not grow as well. Therefore, height can be seen to be an example of variation that is controlled by genetic variation and environmental variation. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.